AC servos are primarily configured with two devices. One is the servo amplifier, which is the control unit, and the other is the servo motor, which is the drive and detection unit. However, AC servos cannot function with just the servo amplifier and servo motor alone. A controller giving commands is also required. Although there are exceptions, AC servo systems are usually configured with these three components. The controller sends instructions to the servo amplifier. After receiving an instruction, the servo amplifier then relays this instruction to the servo motor, which then provides drive force in accordance with the instruction. Servo motors are also equipped with encoders, which function as detectors to detect the current position and relay this information to the servo amplifier. The servo amplifier compares the value of the instruction with the current value as read by the encoder and then outputs a modified instruction to minimize the difference. This is known as feedback control. Instead of simply sending instructions, this feedback control enables AC servos to continually modify instructions in accordance with actual results to minimize differences. This is how AC servos are able to provide such precise control. Now, I would like to give a brief introduction to the different types of servo motors. Most of you probably think of motors as rotary motors such as these. Rotary servo motors will be the focus of this course. Other types of motors include the linear servo motor, configured with a rotary motor, extended along a flat surface, and a direct drive motor which looks similar to a rotary servo motor. Make sure to select the appropriate type of servo motor for your system configuration when implementing AC servos.